What is nanoparticle charge and why is it so important? Often our cells in our body want positively charged particles or molecules simply due to the phospholipid bilayer being fairly negative. So if we have positively charged nanoparticles, they'll be uptaken into our cells. So how can we use charge to target particular cells? It's difficult to target to a particular cell type. As I mentioned before, all our cells have this phospholipid bilayer and therefore they're all negatively charged. So if we create a positive charged particle molecule, they will be uptaken into all of the cells. However, we can tell the slight differences in the negatively charged cells, such as cancer cells can be slightly more negative than the negatively charged healthy cells. But whilst we're thinking about uptake, we also need to think about the distribution of particles across a tumor environment. So certain studies have shown that positively charged particles can penetrate deeper across a tumor environment in the early stages. But when it comes to the later stages of that tumor, negatively charged particles can penetrate further. And that's simply due to the changes in the cell membranes of our cancer cells. And this is very interesting when we consider how we want to design our nanoparticles for a particular cancer scenario. However, that is still non-selective. So our charged particles will still potentially be uptaken by our negatively charged healthy cells. So we really need to deliver our particles to the site of action. Whereas if we deliver ever so slightly away from that, we risk targeting healthy cells and tissues. So whilst we, it sounds like we really just want to design some positively charged nanoparticles, we may want them to be negatively charged to stop them being uptaken by certain cells within our body. And that could be for a diagnostic application where we want to have a reaction to biomolecules in our blood and have a detection system that way. It could be that it prevents the breakdown of our nanoparticles so that they can accumulate in a tumor or in a certain tissue that we want before then degrading down and releasing the nanoparticle cargo. So hopefully this gives a very basic understanding of why nanoparticle charge is so important. If you like this content, like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.